Thanks for joining us. I'm Don Nelson. And I'm Michelle Edmonds. Here are your top headlines. A special bomb squad is spending this week scouring the bed of the Snake River near Melba. They're looking for more unexploded munitions like the two that were found earlier this month. Contract divers working for the Idaho Transportation Department found the shells near the Highway 45 bridge that was under construction. One of the shells turned out to be live, so ITD called in a special team of divers from Knoxville, Knoxville Tennessee, who are using a metal detector to clear the area of any other explosive threats. The team is made up of bomb squad veterans, and they say the toughest challenge so far is battling the current. But it is fast enough when you get out in the center channel and stuff like that that uh, you know, the, diver, the diver will require assistance from his tenders to be able to move back upstream against the current. The divers have to clear close to five acres of underwater territory. Elevated levels of lead confirmed in water faucets and fixtures at 23 schools in the Boise District. Should parents be concerned and what's being done to make sure it's not a problem in the future? Since elevated levels of lead were first detected at Fairmont Junior High School in October, now more than a thousand tests have been done. The presence of lead in water usually comes from pipes, faucets and other fixtures, not from the water source itself. A spokesperson for the Boise School District says they are removing and replacing about 200 fixtures, which tested for elevated levels. It's job one for us to make sure that we're taking this seriously and continue to test until again we get those results down below that EPA guideline. The district says they will continue to provide safe drinking water to those schools affected. A spokesperson for Central District Health says they do not expect to see elevated blood levels in students with lead, so they are, quote, not recommending widespread testing. However, for those with concerns or questions, they should reach out to your child's health care provider. Now, Chief Meteorologist Scott Dorval with the On Your Side forecast. All right, rain is falling to the south of uh, Ada County or in Ada County in the southern section south of Boise, but it is slowly tracking to the north northwest that eventually will engulf the rest of the Treasure Valley. Boy, the Magic Valley from actually the eastern Treasure Valley through the Magic Valley.